Welcome to Devils in the Details. I am your host, Annie DeGraw. Today we are talking about a new nursing program as ASU has expanded into Lake Havasu. Joining us to talk about the nursing program, we have Carla Harkelroad. She is the executive director of ASU at Lake Havasu. Catherine Kenny, the associate dean of academic affairs for the Edson College of Nursing and Health Innovation. And Selena Bednarik, Selena is the Director of Pre-Licensure and Nursing Programs at the Edson College of Nursing and Health Innovation. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. Carla, I think over the last 15 months, we've obviously learned a lot, but that uh, we need more healthcare professionals it has been one of the big lessons. And the demand for nurses has grown even more. Um, and it's been going that way for quite some time. How do you anticipate this new program uh, helping the healthcare industry grow, particularly here in Arizona? It's a great question. Thank you, Annie. Uh, yeah, so, you know, uh, healthcare is actually one of our largest job growth sectors in Mojave and La Paz counties. So it's also one of our greatest needs. The pandemic has highlighted that here. They, of course, have had traveling nurses here during the pandemic. I know because they were actually looking for locations to stay uh, and they reached out to ASU about staying in our residence hall, which wasn't possible. But uh, so we know that they were here um, and we know that it's a job growth area for us. And so in remote areas, one of the goals sometimes actually is to is to have people come and engage in educational programs and then actually stay uh, once they finish their degrees. And nursing offers a wonderful opportunity for us to do that. Catherine, next question for you. What kind of innovative tools and immersive experiences are going to be available to students who participate in this program? Thank you, Annie. We are really excited. One thing we learned through the pandemic is that we can deliver quality programs in different ways than we thought possible before. So with the cohort at Lake Havasu, we'll be using some remote learning through Zoom platform, and we will also be having some uh, many in-person courses. One of the exciting things is that we also can do remote learning with simulation experiences and then bring the students in to the simulation center after they practice so that we can help them uh, develop and then we evaluate their competencies through remote learning. Selena, we have seen, like I said, so much change. But one thing that I've always found constant is there's an extremely high appreciation for nurses and healthcare professionals. And that has only grown truly during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. How do you see the nurse of the future looking? And how do you think this program will prepare the nurse of the future? It's a really good question. Um, the nurse of the future uh, definitely needs to be one that's flexible, one that's adaptable, and one that's embedded in the community. And I really think bringing a program like ours to Lake Havasu City um, and showing uh, our nursing students the different types of nursing within the community and the ability for them to grow um, as a part of the community will add to what they can, can give back. Um, by way of providing health care in some of our traditional settings, but then also in our non-traditional settings where we have um, nurses that, that are embedded and as part of the community outside of the hospital area, which isn't very well known. So that's been one of our goals is to make sure that we have students in these various areas. And of course, over the last year, we've seen home health care aides, people in assisted living facilities, lots of different types of nursing. So you're, you really hope that uh, the public's knowledge of that has grown and just how embedded nurses and healthcare professionals all are into our everyday daily lives. Um, Catherine, can you talk me a little bit through this program and what type of students uh, might be looking to apply? I know that this is an expedited program. Um, what can students expect when they enroll in this program? That's another great question. So we call it our accelerated BSN or Bachelor's of Science in Nursing program, which means that students will complete their program within 12 months. So they can enter as a second degree student, meaning they have a bachelor's degree in some other discipline. And actually it doesn't have to be health related specifically. Um, and those students would have to make sure they meet our prerequisites to enter into the nursing program. But we also take students who are just entering college and they would take all of their prerequisite courses at Lake Havasu um, at ASU campus. And that's one of the beautiful collaborations that we've been able to do with um, Carla and the Lake Havasu team is that we carefully examined our curriculum 
to look at what prerequisite courses would be needed. And we have uh, planned and, and found ways that students at the Lake Havasu campus to take all of their prerequisite courses at the, L, at the Lake Havasu campus, which is very exciting um, for our students who will actually be Lake Havasu students. Selena, my last question is going to be for you. We touched on this earlier. Uh, the demand for health care has been growing for quite a long time. Arizona has actually lagged in our ability to get enough health care professionals to serve fast growing communities. Is there one specific area where that demand is actually higher in the nursing field? You know, uh, the pandemic has shed light on a lot in, in the healthcare environment, one being um, that we have a significant need for nurses to practice at the top of scope, which is out in the uh, primary care and ambulatory care settings where they are contributing in a, a very uh, a different way from what we normally see in the acute care setting, really providing um, the, the primary care needed for patients to stay out of the acute care facilities. And you brought up home health. Um, big, growing, booming field. There will always be a need for acute care nurses. Um, our goal is to provide a wide array of nurses to meet the needs of all communities, specifically Lake Havasu City right now. That's amazing. And I, I, I anticipate that at least some individuals coming over the, the last 15 months will really think about a career, hopefully, in the healthcare field as they've seen just how important it is. Uh, ladies, I want to thank you so much for joining us today, and I want to thank our viewers as well. For more information on the new nursing program in Lake Havasu, we'll include the link. And until next time on Devils in Details, stay safe.